Hey guys, my name is Mark, I'm from the Merkle, and today we'll be doing a review for a Bitcoin hardware wallet called the Ledger Unplugged. Alright guys, so let's get started. This is the box that it comes in, uh, very simple. You open it up, and you have a little pamphlet that contains some instructions as to what you gotta do. You have the instruction card. It's uh, the same exact card that comes in the Ledger Nano box, which is also another hardware wallet we did a review on. Inside this second pamphlet is a recovery sheet, which contains a little card, which on the back side has a cipher, which is used to verify ownership of the Ledger Nano and to retrieve your Bitcoins. Um, finally, you have the actual pamphlet with the actual card. Now this is the RFID card, which pretty much acts like a 2FA for when you're sending transactions. So when you send a transaction, you're gonna have to have this card with you in order to verify on your phone and pass the 2FA, then all the Bitcoins can go through. We'll also do a brief tutorial on how to get set up with the Android phone, um, which should come on right in the next part. But other than that, there's nothing much else in the box. It's just two things. You just have your recovery sheet and then the actual uh, card, the RFID card. If you take off the rest, there's literally nothing else in there. So that's it. If you compare it to the Ledger Nano, it's right here. Again, it's the same exact box, except the Ledger Nano just contains, um, see it has the same exact security card as the Ledger Unplugged, except it has a few more um, goodies, you know. So it's honestly, this is here's the Ledger Nano once again, and then here's the Ledger Unplugged. The only difference is that the Nano, you need a USB drive in order to use that. You need to plug it into the USB drive, and not all phones have USB drives. Um, but this thing right here, it's, um, it's better than the Nano because you don't need a USB drive. You need an RFID or the NFC um, chip in your phone, which most Android phones do. They do have NFC chips. So if you have an NFC chip, you don't need to plug it in. Plus, it fits in your wallet very simply. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's, it's really not that big of a purchase. It's only $30. It's really, you just get this card and then you know that no one's going to be able to take your coins. I mean, you have an extra set of protections. You can you can go ahead and sync it up with mycelium, for example. If you sync up the wallet with mycelium, um, which is a great Bitcoin wallet, by the way, it's one on the top. We we recommend that for Android. It's the best Android wallet you can get. You can get um, because open source. There's no other servers. You know, you don't you your phone contains the private keys of the Bitcoins, so you are not gonna lose it. You know, no exchange is gonna be like, hey, no, you are gambling with your Bitcoins. You can, we're gonna close your account down and, and we're also gonna double charge you. <clears throat> anyway, um, this is it, this is it. Ledger Nano, great, cheap, effective, usable. I recommend this. And guess what, guys? We're gonna be doing a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway for one of these bad boys um, on Twitter, starting today, uh, it's going to be going for three days. In three days, we're going to announce the winner. So go ahead and retweet and follow us on Twitter. Retweet and follow us on Twitter. Then you might win one of these. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Mark. I am from the Merkle. And this has been a review for a Ledger Unplugged.